Good evening and thanks for joining us. We begin with a case that has puzzled and outraged many people in this country. Today's release of a Quebec man who killed his two children less than four years ago. Guy Turcotte stabbed them to death, but was found not criminally responsible, which means he is now a free man. His ex-wife says it makes no sense, and many agree with her. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Mike Armstrong in Montreal. This has been home for Guy Turcotte for 17 months, a psychiatric institute. While the media staked it out today, the institute will not confirm whether Turcotte is still inside, but he is free to leave. It's news that has left more than a little frustration in its wake. I just don't understand how, you know, they could let him out like that. It's very dangerous. The kids are not there anymore, you know, and, and he's responsible, so. So Cut killed his children in his home in February of 2009. Just hours after this surveillance video shot him renting a movie for the kids, he stabbed each dozens of times and drank windshield wiper fluid in a suicide attempt. The catalyst? He was distraught over his ex-wife's new relationship. It was a jury that found the former cardiologist not criminally responsible, but it was a panel of mental health experts that decided unanimously he's no longer an immediate or short-term danger to society and can be released. Even if they, they would bring a Gandhi to tell me that he's not dangerous anymore, I, I mean, he killed my two children. So Cut's release comes with certain conditions. He's not allowed to contact his ex-wife or her family or come within 500 meters. He also has to continue his therapy. As for medication, the only drug he's on is to prevent baldness. Now, while there's a great deal of skepticism in the public that someone could recover so quickly from such a serious mental breakdown, some experts say a psychological storm can be caused by a freak mix of internal and external factors and never happen again. He's probably less at risk than many people who are walking around uh, our streets and are in our families. And some of us are, are a bigger risk than he is right now. Over the last few months, Tsukat has been released for short periods on day passes about 80 times. He has been around children. These are pictures with his sister's kids this past summer. Now, the day passes haven't been easy. He's recognized often. This has affected the people of Quebec very, very deeply, and uh, it's as if it had happened in our own family. So Cut will be back in court next year. The Crown is appealing his original case, trying to force a new trial, arguing the judge made errors in his final instructions to the jury. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.